Hello, folks. I am here with my very good friend, Joan. Everyone says, oh, very good friend, but I'm going to tell you, Joan is my really good friend. She is the one and the responsible for getting me involved in dog rescue. And then we go back to, we used to box together. We really are good <laughs> friends. So um, she is with uh, the founder, co-founder of Dog Rescuers, Inc. And uh, I know everyone should know by now about Cupid. So tell me a little bit about him, but uh, how it's almost gone viral. He's just bit of a celebrity. He is, and rightfully so. This little guy has been through a lot. This is the puppy that was found in the trash in Toronto, and he is missing his front two legs. It was a birth defect. So we took him to a great company called Possibility. She has him in prosthetics, and whoops, he's popped his arm over here. And he is on little skis as training wheels and learning how to walk. It's just amazing in all of this. So, I mean, these are the, these are the things that they've done for him and all. Now, I, we, we're going to have some video on putting these prosthesis in or whatever you call them and all. But the thing is, to me, he looks like he's going to be a good 50, 60 pound dog. So when he gets older, what's going to happen here? Well, with these, the training wheels, um, we have skis as training wheels right now. Yeah. It's a Canadian version of training wheels. Well, okay. And is, uh, is this a prototype to uh, <laughs> good old Canadian know-how? You got it. And actually, she was pretty creative with this. So it's sort of a version of a walker. He's learning how to use his little stubbies and move them forward. So eventually, he's going to be able to just be on the legs. The legs are going to give him a little bit more mil <laughs> mobility than, say, a wheelchair could. So that will enable him to be able to walk and do a little trot and be able to play oh, with his friends. Oh, I know. You're such a, he's such a good boy. Now, what about his tail? You know, when I saw the original pictures of him, they looked so sad. Like, was that something someone did to him or what? Did that. Yes, they docked his tail. We're not sure why they would have done that, but whoever did that clearly did make a bit of a mess. So we're going to be, it actually has healed over a bit on its own, but we're going to fix it up a little bit when he's neutered. So uh, you're looking for a foster home and then get a forever home? or how? He's in a foster home right now. Linda and Bob are doing a phenomenal job. They're wonderful people who are giving their time and their energy to helping this little guy learn how to walk, learn how to, you know, socialization. You know, he's, uh, we got him young, so he's left his litter at, at a young age. But um, we will be in about a month, month and a half, looking at all of the applications we've received and looking for a perfect match for him. And I heard there's been a few applications for wanting to adopt this famous dog. Oh my goodness, we've had over 500 applications. He's gone global. We've had calls from Spain, Montreal, Vancouver. Everybody wants this sweetheart. Can you blame them? Well, this is true, but the thing is, what I want, it's not a but, but I want to say to people out there, you know, you know, this is great for publicity and about your organization because I try to tell people, you're 100% volunteer organization, Dog Rescuers, Inc. Um, you don't get paid. You do this on your own time. You've got a real job the whole deal. So this is all great about Cubit and everything, but think about all the other dogs that Joan saves. Um, Koala, I know a lot of them. Um, they have to support you so you can do this good work. So please, just, I did the info, mo info commercial for you, but you got to tell a little me about dog uh, uh, dog Rescuers, Inc. We are a nonprofit organization. We're made up of volunteers. You have always been a huge supporter of rescue and a huge advocate for, you know, getting dogs into new loving homes. Um, but you're right, and it's not just about Cupid. He's an absolute sweetheart, but there's only one of him, and we have lots of dogs waiting for loving homes. Well, this is true, and I and I know a couple rescue groups, they say, well, you know, when you get a famous dog like this, like Lana, the, that was Atlanta, the saddest dog in the world that made it on the Ellen DeGeneres show and all that, but then a lot of people, you say, well, good, the, the people People will send money into them, right? But no, what happens is a lot of people go, oh, I can dump my dog off to you. So that better not be the case in this case. Send her some money and to help her to help, you know, dogs like this. Don't be saying, oh, well, that would be a nice person to drop off the dog to, right? You know what? We love what we do and we love saving dogs, but love alone does not save a dog. We need, you know, unfortunately we need monetary donations. We have a great vet. We have great vet teams that we work with. But um, again, without the donations, we can't do what we do. Well, there you go. He's paid his dues, and I want to thank you. Remember, Dog Rescuers, Inc. All right. Thanks, Joan. Thank you, Cindy. All right. Awesome. Sure.